US banking remotely from your home country without traveling to the US or without having an SSM. In this video, I'll be explaining three types of banking options available that's remote when it comes to having a US bank account. I'm going to be talking about all of their differences and provide the list of solutions under this video as well. And it's going to be making it easier for you to like find and apply the one that is going to be the best for your case. Please note that this video is not going to be a step-by-step -step application guide, but my channel has plenty of those step-by-step -step application videos and featuring the solutions that I'm telling in this video. And after this video, you can find those step-by-step -step applications and pick the one that uh, works the best for you so my channel is like full of videos like this and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so and hit that button i'll be appreciating it hey everyone this is or i'm the co-founder and the ceo of legal cooperation where we assist non-us entrepreneurs like you starting their us entities opening their us bank accounts pretty much from anywhere in the world so let's start with the first option which is opening a physical bank account like bank of america chase wells fargo unless you travel to the US or you have a sort of like trusted account representative there you're not going to be opening these bank accounts remotely because of a rule that's called KYC aka know your customer rule if you're running a big scale business and need a physical bank account there are companies that can assign you with this account representative to open your account on your behalf on your company be cautious and make sure that your lawyers reviewing all the agreements that signed before you start that makes like you protected for that one because that person is going to have kind of like authority on your account and for beginners this option might not be the best due to the high cost and monthly fees charged by the representatives i don't recommend it unless you have like a well-funded vc back business or like you're running a high end business and if that's like what you have we also have the solution for the physical bankings as well i'm going to be putting information that you can pretty much reach and have a conversation with us regarding that and if you want me to like make a video about those physical banking processes do let me know in the comments Okay, moving on to the second option. You can consider setting up a neobank. This is the most recommended common option for remote banks. So neobanks function pretty much like a physical bank. They provide you unique bank accounts, unique account number for you and the routing number, and they're shipping you the debit card as well. The primary requirement to having a neobank banks that I'll be counting is having a US company, typically in an LLC. Once your US entity is set, you can pretty much apply to this neobanks. One excellent choice among the neobanks is a bank called Mercury Bank, which accepts the majority of its applicants there are specific steps that you need to be following when you're applying for your Mercury account because uh, having a US bank account does not guarantee that it's going to be accepting you I have a full complete tutorial in video where I apply step by step to the Mercury to get accepted and I get it accepted in that video actually and it helps to many people make sure you're watching it before or even during your application and other options that I can say like Mercury is like breaks is worth trying they pretty much accept the high-end business like startups these days and besides breaks there's like a company called Relay Financial, Every Isle and Nola Bank. Lastly the third and the simplest is to having a virtual bank account. It's very similar to like neobanks. The popular choices of this virtual accounts can be Pioneer and the Wise. Uh, Wise used to be called as TransferWise and they pretty much accept like very easily when it's compared with the others. The only requirement for having a Pioneer account for example would be having any sort of bank presence in any country. It doesn't have to be USD account don't get it wrong it can be your local account it also has debit cards gonna be able to use multiple currencies with the account that you open by the time you're watching this video i might have a, like a tutorial for pioneer or wise as well so make sure you're taking a look at my channel to see the step-by-step -step application to doing getting your pioneer account open to sum it up and neobanks like mercury are excellent options you can consider that one as long as you have your us llc set with your ein number and your business address virtual banks like pioneer and wise offers the easy entry they're very simple when it's compared with the other options pretty much that's it for today if you haven't seen the video that helped many people to do the mercury account you can simply take a look at it by clicking here and thanks again for watching my video i hope i'll be seeing you in my next video